Abba Father. Jeremiah chapter 6. O oh, you children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem and blow the trumpet in Tekoa and set up a sign of fire and Beth Aserim. For evil appears out of the north and great, great destruction. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The shepherds with their flocks shall come unto her. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed every one in his place. Prepare you war against her. Arise, and let us go up at noon. War unto us, for the day goes away, for the shadows of the evening are stretched out. Arise, and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces and buildings. For thus has the Lord of hosts said, Chop you down trees and cast them out against Jerusalem. This is the city to be visited did. She is holy oppression in the midst of her. As a fountain cast out her waters, so she cast out her wickedness. Violence and spoil is heard in her before me continually is grief and wounds. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate, a land not inherited. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall thoroughly glean the remnant of Israel as a vine, Turn back thine hand as a grape gatherer, grape gatherer, in to the baskets. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hear. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding it in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and the children of the planet earth and upon the assembly of young men together for even for even the husband with the wife shall be taken the aged with him that is full of days and their houses shall be turned into others with their fields and wives together. I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, every one is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, every one deals falsely. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace verse 15 were they ashamed when they had committed abomination no they were not at all ashamed neither could they blush therefore they shall fall among them that fall at the time that I visit them they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Stand you in the ways, and see, and ask for the old ways, the old paths. Where is the good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet, or the warning that they said we will not hear therefore hear you nations of the planet up and know O congregation what is among them hear O earth behold I will bring evil upon this people even the fruit of their thoughts because they have not hearkened to my words 
nor to my law, but rejected it. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Shiva, and the sweet cane from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. Your multitude of holidays are not acceptable. Nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God Almighty, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus saith the Lord of the light, Behold, a people comes from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear and destroy weapons. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea. They ride upon horses and machines. Send an array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish has taken hold of us and pain as of a woman in labor. Go not forth into the field, but walk by the way. For the destroying weapon of the enemy and fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation. For the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people, a watchman. Thou mayest know and try their ways. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders and lies. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned. The lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melteth in vain. For the wicked are not plucked away. We probate silver shall men call them because the Lord God Almighty has rejected them. Chapter 8 Verse 12 Again Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No! They were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation. They shall be cast down, saith the Lord. I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still, assemble yourselves, and let us enter into the defense cities? And let us be silent there, for the Lord our God has put us to silence, and given us water of gall to drink, because we have sinned against the Lord. That is, verse 14. We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of help, and behold, troubles. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a faraway country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange, strange vanities? For the hurt of the daughter of my people and my hurt, I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. Is there no balm 
in Gilead? Is there no position there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Amen.